going on? How's everyone doing? Shout out to you. Everybody else who's cool. Shumkey! Got anything to say? Eat your popcorn. <laughs> and your Coca-Cola and relax. <clears throat> anyway, tell Colin. I'm rich. What's going on? This is Colin. How's everybody doing? I hope you guys are having a great day so far. Ah, I've got a spicy one for you. This is the mother of the year, and you're going to find out why I say that. It is not for good reasons. That is 100% sarcasm. This, this woman, she just sounds awful, and nobody likes her. And I think we can figure out why. Before I hit that play button, you know what to do. Hit the like and subscribe. Do your jump kick backflips. Let's go. All right, uh, Ms. Brink, are you able to hear me okay? Yes, sir. Okay, we're on the record in Brink versus Hildebrandt, case number 1114050. The record should reflect Ms. Brink is present today by Zoom video. Uh, Ms. Krause, can you tell me the status of this file today? This hearing was adjourned from August 5th to allow the plaintiff to obtain front of the court forms regarding disability and complete and submit them back before today's hearing. No information has been received regarding her inability to work. The only contact the office has had with the plaintiff is on August 12th when she dropped off a letter requesting to sign off her rights to the child and support to stop. Friend of the court staff did indicate she may need to reach out to probate court to move forward regarding that information. And outside of that, the plaintiff has a support obligation of $197 and a balance of $8,709.16. The last payment was received in February in the amount of $206.47 from a prior income withholding. Okay, uh, Ms. Green, why did you not submit those forms uh, as you were ordered to at the last year? I never received them. Okay. Did they were supposed to, to have been mailed to me. Did you go in to get the forms? They were supposed to have been mailed to me. That's why I provided my address at the last court hearing. Okay. Did you do anything to follow up with that at all? Uh, I mean, it's not really my responsibility when someone doesn't do their job. Well, it's your responsibility to pay your child support payments. And if you don't pay But that has nothing to do with the disability paperwork. Okay, I'm not going to argue with you. Um, we went I'm through this. At, yeah, you are. And we went through this at the last hearing. Um, we confirmed your address. We told right, you so that they could that, be mailed to me, which they were not. They were mailed. And I to would you. like to sign off my rights to my children. And Devin said that he would not fight it. Bill did not fight it. He came and he signed. And when it came time for Devin to sign, he didn't show up. And I have a text message saying that he doesn't want or that he wouldn't fight me on signing off my rights to Lila or John. So I'm not sure why he didn't sign the paperwork. So you, you still are the parent and you still owe the child support. But I'm at requesting the court to terminate my rights to my children. She has okay. a stepmom that can adopt her. I don't want anything to do with her anymore. Well, there's a process for that, and that process hasn't occurred yet, which means that okay. Well, I've asked for that process to be started a year ago. This is the second time I'm bringing it up. Okay. Well, you have to do more than just ask. It's up to you to. Uh, well, that's why up. I had the document written up and by an attorney, and so that. Deming would sign the paperwork and he said he wouldn't fight me and then he didn't show up to sign it. So I don't understand what the big problem is. Okay, so how are we going to deal with you paying your child support till that happens then? I don't know. I have a paycheck coming from Boyne River and you can have that. Okay. But other than that, I have $34 to my name. My house is for sale and I'm living in my car. When are you getting that paycheck? I don't know. It should be garnished. I probably won't even get a paycheck. It should be garnished by child support. Do we have an income withholding, Ms. Krause, for any employers with Ms. Brink? 
there is a potential income withholding, but it wasn't reported. So outside of her indicating where she's employed today, um, that process could take six to eight weeks. So I can't guarantee that monies would be withheld from that paycheck. Yeah, it should be. I've never had a problem with it not being withheld in the past. Okay, well, we we don't have the information from your employer, right? Ms. Krause, is that what you're yes, saying? Yes, you do. Oh, they reported it. Hold on, Ms. Brink. Ms. Krause? An income withholding was sent, but until monies are withheld, we wouldn't be able to indicate if that amount would be withheld. But the employer was not reported. It's pending, so I can't guarantee that the employer received anything. They did. Okay. They told me. Well, we haven't received any money from them, so apparently they haven't. I haven't gotten the check yet. I haven't even been. They get. I get paid every two weeks, and I have. Okay. I've already lost the job. They already fired me. So you're not, not employed. Sure. You're not employed, is what you're saying. Not currently, no. I lost the job. I got fired. The bartender didn't like me. I can't imagine why someone doesn't like you. You seem like you have the personality that just lights up any room that you walk into. Uh, I don't know her. I shouldn't judge her like this, but I just feel really bad for those kids. So I'm, I'm trying to hold my, my personal opinions against her to myself, but they might come out. Uh, and also, this is about to get a lot worse for her. Okay. What about the disability? Where are you at with that? I filed or I filled out all the forms that they requested from me and mailed them back in the timeline that they gave me. And but I'm living in my car, so I don't have access to my mailbox anymore. So I have to contact disability today after I get off the phone with, or after I get out of court and report my address to be at my parents' house. Now, there's no guarantee that I'm going to get my mail. My parents don't like me. So there's a there's no guarantee that they're going to tell me that the disability paperwork comes. I'm going to More people don't like you. Your parents don't like you. Man, am, am I wrong on this, guys? I think she might be the common denominator of all of her problems. I have to... I don't know what I'm going to do because I don't have gas to get to their house. And they have me blocked on the telephone. Your Honor. Okay. Yeah, go ahead, Ms. Krauss. In regards to her being homeless, she may be able to reach out to the local post office. They may have something for her in regards to obtaining a P.O. box, but she would need to check further into that. Well, I don't have money to pay for a P.O. box. They may have some options for you regarding if you're um, homeless right now. I don't know the details in regards to that, but it is some information that Friend of the Court has received in regarding post offices when people are homeless. Okay, I'll look into that. All right, well, here's, here's Ms. Krause, has there been, uh, how many findings of contempt has there been in this case on Ms. Green? This would be a first finding. Okay. All right. So, Ms. Brink. Uh, I'm not in contempt, Your Honor. I have no problem paying it. It's just I can't get a job because I have felonies. No uh, one wants are, to hire me. I, I do. I've already put out more applications. I'm not in contempt, though. I have no problem paying. It's just that I can't get a job. No one wants. That's how it works, right? I'm not in contempt. You can't hold me in contempt because I am not in contempt. That is absolutely how it works. She just outsmarted the system. Legal move, 1,000 IQ. No, that's not how it works. So yeah. I me. You, you are in contempt, first of all. I, I find specifically that you are in contempt because you aren't doing any of the things that I ordered you to do the last time. And you can't just Your say, Your Honor, well, like what? Like fill out the forms for your disability. They weren't they mailed to me. How can I fill out just, forms that weren't mailed to me? I'm not gonna I argue called about and asked. Okay, I called now and I'm, asked. Now I'm finding you in contempt for continuing to interrupt me uh, during this court hearing and inhibiting the court's ability to conduct this hearing. You're continuing to talk over me. I'm trying to explain to you. I asked you, you a just, question. You just told me that you're not getting mail at your parents and there's no guarantee that you're going to get your mail. So how do you know that you didn't get this? We sent it to the address that you gave us. And I was living there up until Friday. 
It's not my problem that you aren't getting your mail. All we can I do is send. I am getting my mail. Obviously, I'm you're not. Making sense, Your Honor. All we can do is send it to you at the address that you give us. And, and you then didn't. It's up to you. So you haven't followed through with what you were required to do. Yes, I did. I called the child support office and asked about it, and they said it was too soon to for me to be calling. And you you now so that I can say what I need to say for the record here. Um, because you're continuing to talk over me and I'm not able to conduct this hearing. So the court adjourned the previous hearing uh, in August to give you an opportunity to submit the forms that were required to be submitted. That's your responsibility to make sure that that's done. Uh, we had this colloquy the last time about your address. You gave us an address. Um, that's the address we've been using. If you haven't received the mail, uh, that's between you and the post office and you and whatever is going on with the address that you gave us. All we can do is send out forms. Um, if you didn't get them in the mail, then it was your responsibility to contact the friend of the court, go to the friend of the court, uh, make arrangements to get those forms and fill them out. But that's squarely your responsibility. It's your responsibility to pay child support for your child. That's still your child. Your parental rights haven't been terminated. As far as I can tell, you haven't done anything other than say you want that to happen uh, to make that happen um, so you haven't paid child support you haven't complied with any efforts of the friend of the court to give you options outside of paying child support so the court finds that you are in contempt uh, because this would be a first finding of contempt the court finds that you should be sentenced to 45 days in the Otsego county jail the court is going to order that you turn yourself in to the Otsego county jail uh, by 5 p.m. today, that's September 3rd, 2024, to begin serving the 45-day sentence. If you fail to turn yourself in to the Otsego County Jail by 5 p.m. today, then the court will issue a bench warrant for your arrest. Um, Ms. Uh, Krause, if you can prepare uh, in order to reflect the ruling of the court on that today. Yes. All right. All right. Well, that's it. Contempt of court, 45 days in jail. She, I hope she really thinks about what she's doing in these 45 days. This is a terrible decision that you can't go back from. Like I, I, yeah, I got nothing else to say. This just breaks my heart for those kids. All right. I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. If you haven't done it already, please hit the like button. And until next time, bye. All right. uh, that's all for this hearing today. The court's going to disconnect in this spring at this time.